Welcome everyone, today we have another Genshin Impact News Digest. In this video, we will look at one of the latest official contest event with Genshin Impact with the short Latin Festival artwork. And there are some really good prizes to be won with 10,000 promo gems, 5,000 promo gems, and some very expensive subscriptions for Adobe apps and also Photoshops. So there are quite a bit of prizes to be won over here with a lot of promo gems. And the best thing is, we can submit up to 5 different artworks to contest for those prizes, and those are very nice. But at the same time, what if you guys are not into making pictures or artworks, we also have a special giveaway event for our YouTube channel. Now this is one of our first giveaway ever to celebrate the 20,000 subscribers onto YouTube, and the details will be over here. We'll go through the details, and also how to participate, how to go for those prizes. Everyone can participate, and the prizes will be one blessing of move for each of the winners. Now in order to find as many free to play primal gems as I can, I also found a post which talked about all the hidden achievements. And after having a look at the checklist for those achievements, there are quite a few of them. So you can see the achievements are about 126 of them. And if you have a look at the primal gems that's available, there are quite a bit of primal gems. If you have seen one of my previous videos, I was able to get over 600 Primal Gems during patch 1.1 and patch 1.2 with the achievements. So we can definitely collect quite a few of the Primal Gems. So if you haven't done any of those achievements, definitely check it out as well. Next up, we'll have a look at some of the interesting facts and also tips about friendship and also companionship experience. What do they do at different levels and how do you get them higher? So this is a comprehensive guide about the experience and how to farm those experience for the traveler and also the companions. This is quite interesting as we unlock more plots, more storylines and also more lore with the characters and also a name card. We'll also be having a look at a special Ember build with a Barrier Bunny. This is quite an interesting combo with 20,000 damage combo against the villain. This is very creative and really want to share this one with you guys. We'll also have a look at a very cute clip of Klee in the little kitty pool. This is quite nice as well. And finally, we'll have some interesting and also fun artworks shared by the community about Hu Tao wants all your primal gems, and also a real life sunsetter. Look at those, those actually real life sunsetter apples. And finally, we'll have a look at a very interesting post about the 4 Fatari lineup. So notice over here, this is a lineup of 4 different Fatari characters, and that's quite interesting. We'll have a quick look at this as well. Now during the recording of this video, another special announcement also came up. So I thought I'd add this to the video as well for us. So if we come over here to the link of the preview page, we're going to see some of the special features for Xiao. And you get to see the new character with Shao, you get to see the special skills which you have with different skill animations and how those combos with different combinations. After that, we can see the new weapon which we'll talk about, the Primordial Jade Cutter, which will be likely to come in Shao's banner with the special limited weapons. And we'll also talk about this in the previous video. After that, we get to see the Latin tiles and also the particular theater mechanics which have the tower defense. And finally, we get to see something interesting. This was not talked about during the live stream, and this talk about lighting up different lanterns with Shao to split a reward of 1 billion primal gems with other travelers. So notice these are 1 billion primal gems with other travelers. So what I heard from previously with the community is during the beta, they had a similar event. If enough of the players in the community light enough lanterns, we can split a share of the primal gems as an eventual price for reaching a goal. If we let if we light up 1 million lanterns, or if we light up you know, half a million lanterns, we'll be getting additional primal gems from this. So it's like a community event. And this can be very interesting. Notice they actually said 1 billion primal gems, so it got me curious. Maybe we'll have a few million players in the world, and to split 1 billion primal gems, maybe we'll at least get 100 or maybe 1000 primal gems each. So let me know what you guys think about this. And of course over here, we have the special event about the art contest, which we'll cover over here now. Now coming over to this official event post made by Mihoyu. And to participate in this particular event, we'll have to submit some of the fine arts for Genshin Impact with a theme with a sea of lights. Basically the 1.3 light festival with Xiao and also some of the fireworks and some of the festival spirits. For this particular event, there's a lot of good prizes. So you can see here from the gold medal all the way up to the commented, there is 10,000 promo gems up to 1,000 promo gems. And for the top winners, you will also be getting the Adobe subscriptions, some of the subscriptions for different apps. And in case you guys are wondering, just for the Adobe subscriptions, I believe they're over a few hundred dollars. So those are some really good rewards for submitting artworks. And the best thing is, we can submit up to 5 different artworks to be reviewed by the MiHoYu panel. 
And if we're successful with any of the artworks, we can win a prize over here. You can see there's a quite a few number of the winners. For the details of the submission criteria and also the event rules and the things to be aware of, I'll have this post in the links below for you guys. So be ready to have a look at this if you're interested. And in case you guys are wondering, I did find an amazing artwork about Shao. So if you're looking to make artworks about this particular event, maybe this particular post can give you some of the inspirations. This is one of the amazing artwork I found earlier. I was like, this is so cool. I definitely think this one have a good chance of winning the particular competition. So it's really nice to see fine art and also artists getting recognized and also win a prize with this particular contest. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Maybe it's too difficult to make an artwork to contest in this event. That is why we also have one of our first giveaways on our YouTube channel as well. To celebrate our 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, we have started a giveaway. The giveaway prizes will be one monthly card for the Working Moon, which add up to 3,000 Primal Gems over the period of 30 days. There will be 10 winners in total. The giveaway has started today, and the giveaway will end in 7 days on the 3rd of February, right before the patch 1.3. Now in order to participate for this giveaway, make sure you click the links in the description below to join our Discord. And once you have joined the Discord, make sure you come to the giveaway type and then click over here on this particular button to react. Once you have reacted, you would have participated in the giveaway. And this way, after the giveaway ends on the 3rd of February, you'll be in the draw for those prizes. And in order to give everyone the giveaway prizes, I won't be trying to log on to people's account. What I'll do is, I'll send them the amount through PayPal. This way, you can keep your account security safe, and this will help us to prevent any of the situations of security concerns, and also we won't have any account sharing. Keep in mind guys, this is our first giveaway, so we're actually testing out how the system works and how we can organize correctly. There will definitely be a lot more future giveaways, so stay tuned, I'll be announcing those as well. Now keep in mind guys, as you join our Discord, you realize we have a very friendly community. And while you're here, make sure you're polite and respectful to everyone, because we're mostly gamers here, we're here to have a good time. And over here, I also want to say a big thank you to our mod team, and also the mentors who volunteer their time for free, to organize and also to maintain our Discord, and also to provide helpful questions to the new players, and also providing guides to everyone. So if you haven't seen our Discord, definitely check it out. We have a lot of resources, we have a lot of character build, we even have drop rate estimations. Notice how detailed those builds are with Ganyu and everything, so we have a lot of information here about Genshin Impact. Now coming over to this post by Prime Sita over here, the Hidden Achievement Checklist. Our friend here actually made a particular Google Doc check file for all the achievements that are available. Keep in mind, some of those achievements are also for patch 1.3, so be aware of those. I did have a look at those, and they look quite interesting, because our friend also included the version for 1.2 and all the different versions, so we can differentiate which of the achievements we can do now, and which of the achievements we can do later. This is quite nice, you can see the 1.2, you can see the 1.3. And on top of that, there is a quite helpful description over here for all the achievements. What you guys can do is, if you're looking for the highest Primal Gems ones, look for the ones that these 20 Primal Gems or 10 Primal Gems, and then work your way down to the 5 Primal Gems. I know those doesn't seem to be a lot initially, but after you go through some of those and you build up your achievements, you can be getting a lot of Primal Gems for the latest Shell Banner. So this is a really good way to prepare yourself with a lot of the free-to-play Primal Gems for the new banners and also the new patch to come. Now if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Now coming over to this post by Adam Poy over here, he actually had a very detailed guide for the friendship and also companionship experience. Over here a friend shared that with the friendship, Level 2 and also level 4 will be obtaining an extra expression for the photo feature. And after that, there are also achievements for achieving higher friendship to level 10 with different characters, which give us 5, 10, and 20 promo gems. There are also rumors that we can get different character animations with the best animations with Klee and also the look, who start with an extra sparkle and the look actually smiles. So this is a comprehensive guide for the friendship. Our friend here shared what are the friendships you can get from different levels, and how to obtain those, and how much experience do you need for the friendship. And finally, he also talked about the method of repeating the world repeatable quest every day to gain the friendship experience. We do have a video about this as well, to teach you how to log in and log back for reacting for those particular events. 
I'll have those in the description for you guys as well. Because not only do you get the friendship experience, you also get lots of morals. You also get some of the additional prizes like the minerals and also experience ores. So this is a quite detailed guide for the friendship experience. Definitely check it out if you're planning to build a lot of characters to level 10 with a friendship. And we never know, there may be special rewards and also prizes to be won for the high friendship in the future. Similar to the current future which is added in patch 1.2 of giving us additional wishes for leveling up characters, it would be really nice if we can get more prizes for the friendship. So I'm really hoping in the future patches, by leveling up friendship, we can get a lot of the fates, and this can be really nice as well. Now coming over to this amazing Amber clip by Romaka23. This is quite interesting of a Barrel Bunny combination built with Amber, and let's have a look at this one together. So what we have over here is a level 90 Storm Terror. We also have Amber, Burnett, Diana, and also Jing on the team. And you can see right away, Amber actually started a Barrel Bunny, and then with the combos, she actually projected the Barrel Bunny onto the villain with Jin, and notice here again. So after tricking out the shot by exploding the Barrel Bunny, she actually defeated Storm Terror. So let me just highlight what is happening. Firstly, he debuffed Storm Terror with a Red Medicine set with Jin, and that would decrease his resistance to Pyle. Then with Diana, you can start the Milt Synergy with having Cryo first. But net increase our damage, and also Amber summons the Barrel Bunny. With a high constellation Amber, she can summon two Barrel Bunnies. And also, with high constellation, she can trigger the Barrel Bunny for two times of higher damage by exploding the Barrel Bunny with her charge shot. So this is the combo. Basically, she is gonna throw the Barrel Bunny with Jing, and then she's gonna trigger the Barrel Bunny to deal damage. The first one did about 80,000 damage. The second combo comes again with the second Barrel Bunny. She does have two charges. And there we go guys, 20,000 damage combo with two shots of the Baron Bunny. And that's pretty amazing, right? I was like, hey, this is really lovely. Credits to our friend for sharing this one. I've seen a few of the Ember combos with Baron Bunny, but this one is by far the most creative one. You didn't have to climb up, and all you have to do is shoot the Baron Bunny and explode for massive damage. Now keep in mind guys, not trying to promote everyone to build into an Ember build, because our friend here probably has some really good artifacts, and you can see that he is using a 5 star bow, so he definitely have a lot of good equipment, and those equipments can also work on different characters. So don't build into Ember because you saw the clip, it's really nice to see the possibilities, but our friend probably have high constellations for Ember as well. Now coming over to some of the fan posts shared by the community. We have Azura Lolo with the kitty pool for Klee. Notice in Mondstadt there is a small pool over here. <laughs> the friend is actually swimming with Klee over here. It's such a shallow little pool, but look how cute Klee is. She is actually literally swimming in those pools, and there's a little pet next to her. <laughs> so cute, right? Now I think this is definitely a ground like a visual bug or something, that the characters are actually swimming in the water, and <laughs> she actually got went through Mondstadt. So this looks pretty cool, right? She's actually swimming in this little paddle over here. Now coming over to this post by Milliman105, who taught once all your primal gems? And notice the scam with the shell, everyone's fighting for the banners, for the banners that is coming, and Hu is like, hold up right there. <laughs> Of course Trevor will pick Futao, because I have a good voice, a new follow appears. <laughs> so a lot of anticipations for Futao, I thought I'd share this one, because currently we do not have information on the patch 1.3 Futao. The growing speculation is that Futao may be on the third banner for the patch 1.3. If I have any information on this part, I'll let you guys know as quickly as I can. As you might have seen in our latest video about the weapons, we can see a special Hu Tao weapon in patch 1.3. So there's a high chance of having Hu Tao with a weapon, so there's no reason for them to send the weapon out in a weapons manner without Hu Tao, right? So let's have a look. Maybe we do get Hu Tao very soon, very excited for this as well. Now coming over to this post by Peachy Ponies over here, we have a real life sunsetter. Look at that guys, those are rose apples from the garden from rose apple tree. And guess what they look like guys? They look like sunsetters, right? So if we come back over here to the games, we can see some of the fox having some of the sunsetters over here. We can see the sunset tree. And there we go guys, the real life sunset is actually found over here. That's pretty interesting, right? I've actually never had an apple like this. I'll be really curious of trying those apples. And the comments in those posts actually talk about this does not test like an apple. Those actually very similar to a snow pear. So that's quite interesting. Those looks very interesting. And we do have the comparison of those sensitors in the game as well. Now coming to our special post of the day. 
Over here we have a post by Cyrus's top 7 about the Fatari team. And keep in mind guys, this is definitely a fan made team, this is not available in the game. I think a lot of people just took the 3D models of the characters from the cosmetic scenes in the game and made a team like this. This is definitely a Photoshop one. But this looks quite interesting, right? So we have Child, which is already in the game. We can have Saramoch, then that may be coming with the particular Inner Zoom Zoom. We have Lee Signora, which is actually showed with Venti's cinematic, and people are speculating that she'll be coming with future updates. We also have Deroy which I'm not sure about him, haven't heard much about him. But this looks quite interesting, right? So this is definitely a full team of Harbiters. But keep in mind guys, this is more of a Photoshop for the fine art. So people are saying, you know, saving permagens for all of them. Looks pretty interesting, right? So we have the team from Monstad, we have the team from Lyrian Harbor, we can also have the Fatari team from Snes Naya, which is quite interesting. I'm really looking forward to those new characters if they're coming out. I mean, Look at the 3D models. I'm sure she'll be coming out and she wants your promo gems. <laughs> Let me know what you think about those artwork and those are quite interesting. Now before we finish this video, keep in mind guys, if you're going for the artwork contest, you can submit up to 5 different artworks, but you'll be getting the highest price out of those 5 artworks. And also if you're submitting artworks, make sure you also provide the judges with the drafts and also the incomplete work to prove that this is your work. So they also want evidence that this is your work. So make sure you click off those and also send it together with our work. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with sketching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.